So in this session, we are going to discuss the one of the nutraceuticals that is the honey. So let us move towards the honey. So honey is a thick sweet fluid produced by the bees from the plant nectar. It is a commonly used as a sweetener in food, but should be avoided in the infant. There is one warning is given. It should be avoided in the infant. It should not be given to the infant. The biological source of honey, it is a sugar secretion deposited in a honeycomb by the bees, Apis mellifera, Apis dorsata belongs to family Apidae. So this is a biological source of the honey. So whatever the honey is there, it is being collected by the honeybees and it is being stored in the honeycomb by the Apis mellifera and Apis dorsata belonging to family Apidae. Synonym for honey, that is a madhu, mat and madhika. See the image, how the bees, they are going to collect the honey and how it is being stored into the honeycomb. Let us move towards the chemical constituents and nutritional profile of the honey. If you can see, the honey comprises approximately 23 to 36% of dextrose. It comprises 30 to 47% of fructose, 0. 0.4 to 6% of sucrose, along with the dextrin and gams, 0 to 7%. It comprises a small amount of essential oil, beeswax, pollen grains, formic acid, acetic acid, succinic acid, maltose, dextrin, coloring pigments, vitamins, and admixtures of the enzyme. The admixtures of the enzyme comprises the diastase, invertase, and the inulase. Furthermore, the honey comprises the amino acids like proline, lysine, phenylalanine, tyrosine, glutamic acid, aspartic acid. And the enzymes like a glucose oxidase, invertase, diastase, that is amylase, and acid phosphatase. Whatever the chemical constituents are there which are present in the honey, it is related with the collection of the sugar secretion. What is the source for the collection of that particular sugar secretion? And that will decide the furthermore the chemical composition of the honey. Furthermore, the honey comprises the organic acids like uh, gluconic acid, butyric acid, formic acid, lactic acid, succinic acid, malic acid, and citric acid. Almost all weak acids are there which are present in the honey. There is the organic acid. Some phenolic acids like elagic acid, caffeic acid, and ferulic acids are also present in the honey. So these are the chemical constituents of honey. So let us move towards the health benefits of the honey. If you can see the honey, it is primarily composed of sugar, as uh, we have discussed. It provides small amount of several vitamins and minerals, and it is a rich in a health-promoting plant compound. So whatever the constituents are there, which are present in the honey, again, it is belongs to the certain plants, and it is rich with the, all these chemicals. So honey contains a number of antioxidants, including phenolic acid and flavonoid. So it is going to act as antioxidant. It is going to reduce the oxidative stress. Honey may offer some protective effect related to blood sugar management. Sometimes the honey, it, it is being utilized to in the management of the blood sugar level. Furthermore, it is being linked with the beneficial effects of heart health, including reduced blood pressure and blood fat level. Then honey can act as a natural and safe cup separation. That is the main use of the honey. So honey, it is being used to separate the cup in the children. When applied to skin, honey can part of effective treatment plan for the burns, wounds, and many other skin conditions. If you can see the recent research, there are so many uh, products are available in the market related with the honey to treat the wounds burns and the other skin condition. Honey hydrogels are there in the market. It is particularly effective for diabetes related foot ulcers. It, it is possible to manage the wound which is being produced uh, related with the foot ulcer. It is having a antibacterial as well as the antifungal properties. It helps for the digestive issues like a diarrhea, 
it is going to be used as a sweetening agent in the various products then it is having a demulsion properties and it relieves the dryness and it is beneficial in the constipation so these are the some of the health benefits of the honey let us move towards the dosage around approximately 1 to 2 teaspoon full of honey can be taken daily let us see the side effect as such whatever the honey is there it is being collected all these are sugar secretions of the plant it is being connect, collected by the honey bees isn't it and and it should not have the sudden side effect but there are uh, two important side effects are there isn't it uh, it should be avoided in the infants and second thing is that if the honey is produced from the nectar of the rhododendrons which contains a toxin that may cause the heart problem low blood pressure and the chest pain so this is a uh, one of the important thing which should be considered related with the honey then the precautions that is the it should be avoided in the allergic condition there might be chances of production of the certain allergic reactions furthermore it is going to increase the blood sugar levels in the people with the type 2 diabetes so it should be avoided in the type 2 diabetes so and it should not be given to the infants with the age less than 12 months due to risk of botulism poisoning so these three things are important one thing that is uh, if the person is allergic to the honey it should be avoided it should be avoided in the type 2 diabetes melters and it should be avoided in the infants as there might be the risk of the botulinum poisoning it is going to be increased then the drug interactions so very, there are two drug interactions are there very first drug interaction that is the taking honey along with the anticoagulants and antiplatelet drug slows the blood clotting that might increase the risk of bruising and the bleeding honey may thin the blood anticoagulants may thin the blood and when we are combining the honey with the these anticoagulants or the antiplatelet drug that may leads to the bruising or the bleeding anticoagulant drug that is warfarin and uh, antiplatelet drug aspirin the second drug interaction related to the honey that is the phenytoin phenytoin it is being used as antiepileptic it is going to manage the seizure isn't it so when we are combining the phenytoin with the honey the absorption of a phenytoin is going to be increased and that may leads to the further side effects of the phenytoin phenytoin it is having a narrow therapeutic impact if there is a small change in the blood levels of phenytoin that may leads to the serious toxic effect so this is about the honey so in this part we have discussed the honey that is biological source of honey synonym chemical constituent health benefits of the honey then we have discussed the dosage side effects precautions and the drug interaction that's it about the honey i have collected the content from the web md